Hi there, this is David and welcome back to the Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. Last time we made it into Chapter 4, and there's a couple things that I want to go over. First of all, most importantly, we can now synthesize Action 3 Quartz. Make as many of them as humanly possible, and equip them on your characters. I've already done that off screen. And uh, we're also going to be doing um, one of Zinn's doors today. And you're going to want to cast her. Either Chloe or Oliver will work. It really doesn't matter who you choose. I went ahead and put Oliver on my party since we haven't had him before. And you want some sort of all-hitting spell. The easiest all-hitting spell that you can make up is, where is it? The uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da, Titanic Roar spell. And you need eight Earth Quartz and four Space Quartz in order to make it. So I gave him a Defense 4, which already has an 8 value. Uh, EP Cut 2 gives him three uh, space, and what else gives them the last one? I guess it would be, uh, where is it? Okay, yeah, the EP3 also gives them some more, so there you go. Easy enough. And that gives them access to that spell. Down here, there are some books that you can access, like every single Carnelia book. I'll be showing all that stuff in an, um, in a bonus episode towards the end of the game. Um, and then also here, there's some other books. They're just kind of random books. I'll be showing these random books in a bonus episode towards the end of the game as well. And as far as talking to people for new dialogue, I'll be showing that during today's end slate. So lots of things going on here, but anyway, let's head over to, let's see, which one is it? Is it the start? No, it's the Sun Door, right? Yeah, okay, so Sun Door 3. I knew it was one of these that he uh, had access to, I just needed to double check and see who it is. So you need to make sure that you bring Zin to this door, and... Yeah. Fists of Steel. Something tells me we're going to do some fighting in here. So my party's all set up. You know, you need best equipment, all that kind of stuff. With your caster, Chloe or Oliver, just give them those accessories that raise their um, magic attack power. Because that will just make things so much easier. Exponentially easier. The nice thing about having Oliver as your caster is he isn't hamstrung by his orbit. He only has to have one, I believe it's Mirage Quartz equipped, whereas Chloe has to have three Water Quartz equipped. And it really makes her limited in as far as what magic she can really access because, you know, all three of them have to be water. So, yeah, it just makes it harder to set up her orbit for um, accessing certain spells. So it looks like we have to fight in the arena here, and face off against three opponents with no breaks in between. Oh. Um, sure. We'll do it. Why not? Oh, cool! <laughs> okay, so this is the normal arena. Oh, wow, looks like Ren's there, Reese, Oliver, Estelle, Joshua. Oh, man, look at Zinn's eyeballs. It looks like Raiden from Mortal Kombat. And um, Kevin looks like Ryu, or at least like the new Ryu. He doesn't look like Ryu back did back in uh, Street Fighter 2, the one that I played at least. Let's look at the rules here. Three teams in three rounds, defeat them all to win. Okay, got to defeat them all. Oh, okay, my HP and EP will be fully restored, but my CP won't. So that's kind of nice for casting ultimate magic that will destroy them. It's so good. <laughs> Lots of opponents here. Yeah, this is really why you want that all-hitting magic. Like, you could still kill him with regular physical hits and crafts and stuff like that, but just to make things as efficiently as humanly possible, get you an all-casting magic spell. Do what you have to do and just get one. It makes things so much easier. Okay, so let's see. We'll use uh, Evil Eye EX because that can hit multiple opponents. That's pretty much the key in all of the fights here, is just hitting multiple opponents. Uh, you still need to get more um, CP, so just go on out there and start attacking. Let's see, we'll have to use Immortal Punishment on these guys. Get some uh, extra damage over there. And again, I have Josette back on her support ability for added item drops and uh, extra sepet and things like that. It's just the best. And you, what I want you to do, it was Titanic Roar. Yeah. I also gave him um, Cast 1 
to make it so that he can cast spells faster. I gave him an action three, so his turn comes up quicker. Just whatever it is that you need to do in order to get this spell off so that we can just wail on these guys. These guys are pretty simple, and don't even worry about healing, because you get healed up between battle anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But hey, yeah, nice damage. Makes this much quicker, much easier. You still need to build up your CP. That's fine. Keep on going. Uh, let's see. Ooh, we can get all four from here with the Mortal Punishment. Awesome! Another thing that you could do if you're on harder difficulty levels is go drink at that waterfall back in the Hermit's Garden, which would give everybody full CP, and then you could just use S-Crafts and just kill them that way. I mean, that could work. Uh, do you have, like, a line attack or something? Uh, two, two, two. Eh, two is fine. Whatever. Looks like I... I was hoping that maybe I could hit three, but... Doesn't look to be the case. Using another Titanic Roar. Awesome. That'll probably go off right after all these guys are done doing whatever it is that they do. That's pretty neat. I like how all these monsters in here, or enemies just in general, like, they all have their own animations for their special attacks. Like, nobody just kind of, like flickers and doesn't attack like they do in, like, Dragon Quest or some Final Fantasy games or something like that. Like, it's so detailed. It's something that I love about the Tales games. Like, every little last thing is so detailed. There's hardly any vanilla enemies, too. Like, all enemies, just, they have something unique about them. They have little descriptions, too. It just makes it pretty nice. Can I hit two? No, one, one. No. Okay. So, we'll just have you attack and you kill anybody. Oh yeah, all these guys are really close to death. Thank you, Oliver! Doing all your great damage and everything. I wanted Chloe to be in this, uh, because she's lower level than Oliver, and, you know, every experience point counts. So, uh, but unfortunately, I wasn't able to have her access that spell because of the way that her orbment is, um, set up. It just makes it really crappy, so yeah. I figured I'd throw in Oliver, because why not? So, one down, two to go. Hey, awesome! Oh, we have these sheep. Huh. I found these sheep to be very easy in second chapter, but there was a battle that it seemed like a lot of people had really hard trouble with these creepy sheep in a certain battle in second chapter. I personally found them pretty easy, but I know a lot of people struggled with them, so yeah. Hopefully this won't be too bad. Let's see, Thunder God Kick? Oh wow. You don't really have a lot of uh, range, do you? Yeah, that's the problem with Zen, is his range is pretty terrible. He's pretty, you know, one note. He can pretty much just attack. You know, he can attack a lot and like, you know, a lot, you know, do a lot of damage. But that's pretty much it. He has a lot of defense, he has a lot of HP, so he makes a good tank, but his versatility as far as hitting multiple enemies, it's not so great. Oh, wait, what, what do I want? It's the Evil Eye EX, yeah, that hits... Uh, that's hits three. Oh. I need to move him closer. I think I'm gonna move Joshua around. Ooh! Hey, all three of them got delayed, too. Awesome! That's really nice. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Titanic Roar, keep on going. And these guys don't really even deal any damage to you or anything. And then they lower your defense as if I give a damn, while raising your strength. I mean, maybe if they actually dealt more damage to you, I would care about them lowering your defense, but I don't. They're dealing like 50 to 200 damage. I would imagine the hard difficulty levels they'd be doing like 1,000 or 2,000 damage, but still, even then, whenever you have 17,000 HP, like, what's 1 or 2,000? You know, it's really like nothing, so... Yeah, it's just kind of strange. Okay, get all four of them there. Awesome! Hey, we have good damage there. Sweet! Taking these guys out, let's see. Can we get some nice damage? We can get all three of them there. Okay, awesome. Yeah, having this all-hitting spell, it... It turned these battles into, like, ten-minute affairs into, like, three- to four-minute affairs. It makes them... So much more manageable to have to deal with, because otherwise they're just so long and so annoying. But hey, took those guys out. One more to go. 
Oh, bad touch. That's no good. We only want good touching. No bad touching. But hey, take him down and out. Sweet! And you know what? Now that I have um, all this CP laying around in a prompt, I'm going to kick Oliver out of my party after this because, um, you know, he's higher level than the other people level up. Like Mueller, he is very low leveled. I think he's only 103, whereas everybody else is like 106, 107. So I do want to work on him as well. Um, so yeah, I can go ahead and use some S-Crafts and things like that as well. That'll make this guy much easier and much quicker. Gilbert? Seriously? Doesn't this guy know when to quit? Come on now! Ugh, it's never ending. Okay, so let's see. Oh, yeah, these guys are kind of away too. Uh, we'll use this. He has so much HP. Yeah, look at that. So, let's go ahead and use Joshua to get some double attacks in there. Awesome. And let's see, can Thunder God kick actually? No, it can't. So, you know what? Let's use, what is it? It's, um, True Smite. There we go. Yeah, that's really high damage there. Hey, hey, nice. Too bad you resisted the effect, but eh, whatever. And that's still only have one, so that's fine. Your S crap sucks, so we're not gonna worry about it. There we go. Uh, let's have you use your art. I can go on down and find it there in Titanic 4. And then after using that art, I'll go ahead and use his um, S craft. Why not? Now, if you're on harder difficulty levels, move out of Gilbert's range. Even on my difficulty level, he's still gonna deal five to six thousand damage to anybody in his range. So I would imagine on hard difficulty levels, it's pretty much one-shotting you. So just keep that in mind. Go ahead and use this S-Craft on him. Check it out. <laughs> wow! His magic attack is more powerful than his S-Craft. That's crazy! Okay, let's see. Thunder God Kick, can I... No, I can't hit them both. Oh, that sucks. Um, yeah, just keep on going with his true smite. That's fine. And do you have anything... Oh! Wow, you can use another dual strike? That's a really cheap ability for as much damage as it deals. That's really nice. Uh, let's see. Maybe across, no, a mortal punishment? Can that hit both of them? Really? Seriously? Um, let's have you attack. Yeah, maybe you can kill him so he doesn't do his damage. Hey, hey, sweet! Well, that's one way of getting rid of Gilbert. You can just kill him before he can use his, you know, huge attack. Or I could use Kevin's S-Craft, but, eh. I don't really play a defensive game. I'm, I'm really more into the offensive, you know, just peeking ass and taking names. Let's see. Let's go after this guy. He has more HP. I want to whittle them down around the same amount um, so that they die around the same time, so I can use something like a multi-target attack just to kill them at the same time. It's just more efficient that way. Or I could just, you know, kill them individually. Either way, I just find it's more efficient to um, whittle them down kind of at the same time. Unless they're really wailing on you and you're on harder difficulty levels, then you really want to, um, you know, take them down one at a time. But yeah, something tells me this Titanic Roar is going to do them in. I probably shouldn't have even used Oliver's S Craft, because a Titanic Roar would have just been better. It would have hit them all, too. But it would have dealt more damage and hit them all. But anyway. Took care of that. Defeated the arena. Ooh, and got the Fool's Emblem. Uh, hey. Oh, okay. Is that Fool's Emblem the same thing that we stole way on back of the Lusitania? Or was that the Fool's Locket? It was the Fool's something. I'm not entirely sure. Huh. So, what do I get? Ooh, physical. And some Mira. Nice. Oh. Oh. So we have the ability to challenge the hard arena, but we need an invitation. And we're not going to get that for quite some time. So don't worry about that right now. 
But we've gone ahead and finished the regular arena story. Hey, hey. Yeah, we still don't have that item, but we'll keep that in mind for later in the game. And let's check out that new physical orbit that we got here. Let's see. There it is. Oh, that's actually pretty damn nice. Huh. I'll have to think about that. And it's pretty situational, but I like it. So, next time, let's put the Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky of the Third. We're gonna, um, probably do another one of Zen Stores. <laughs> this has been David, and stick around for the end slate where I talk to everybody. And have a good day.